the approach to this film very western very western the structure the direction the feel of it the the the, the storyboarding of it all very western but the topics and the actual dynamic of the film very indian yeah very indian it's and like, it's very core valued the issues that we were traversing in this film are so relatable for so many different aspects actually in terms of culturally speaking the dynamics of an indian family it's very weird like, how he simulates yeah, it's very the weird latin american families and in terms of like the the hierarchy the 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 placing of like if you're an elder you deserve respect and they will demand it from Man, you i felt like i was watching yeah. a reality television show of my cousin's household or something yeah and, and i think that i was just what, stuck in the middle just like oh my and you God. know what Efra? i think that's pre precisely why the sound engineering and the usage of like the specific songs in the specific moments it was spaced out that way because it gave such a, a realistic and true organic feel to to each scene also, I think that's the, the the reason why it resonated with so many people, and even to this day, nine years, ten years later, it still hits with a lot of people, and mm. people still find it as a, one of those like iconic is, is, uh, films that people should watch. In terms of like the actual meaning of the of the movie, I mean, I thought it was fairly self-explanatory and uh, another conundrum of life, I think, where. In the West, I don't think this is presented as much. I think in Latin American families, it happens very often. And I, now, obviously, we can tell that probably in the whole of South Asia, this is probably a very common theme. I think for daughters, it's very different. Um, for sons, you know, maybe somewhat similar. But uh, it, it is that weird conundrum of if, if your father or your mother was ill or they are in their elderly stage, you don't even really ever leave your parents. No. That whole thing of like moving out and like, and then you forget them or you put them in that like, uh, what do you like call a that? Home. A care home. That's like, yeah. that's actually insulting where we're from. Like that's, that would be crazy yeah, to do. You'd be nuts. They mention is like, when your father is 90, you'd be 50. And you've just basically sacrificed 20 years of your life. And you stopped living to yeah. try and preserve the life of your of your father your mother and it's like well shouldn't i that that's like that's my only responsibility and in some cultures that will make zero sense Correct. um but in our one and it seems also obviously clearly in south asia as well it, it makes a ton of sense and it's like a conundrum that you get presented to a, a ton especially the older your parents get and the older you become and then but weirdly there's also this pressure of like but they want you to get married mm -hmm. or they want you to find the perfect partner or they want you to go outside and live the perfect life and be super successful Successful and not sacrifice or not be like them when they were and then you're like what the f but then on the day-to-day -day life the guy has a constipation issue <laughs> or like on you know just on back to reality he doesn't know which medicines are the right ones or he suffers from you know hearing you know, he needs his hearing aids so day-to-day -day colloquial mundane real life gets very heavy and very difficult and annoying and it I makes everybody bitter and and on edge all the time yeah yeah, yeah. It, also it's like really um what a realistic sort of couple they they became like mm. their interactions they were they were actually to a certain extent like i uh, behaving like a married couple already yes yes uh, it's not like in the bollywood films where it's always you know a meet cue and a rain scene nah, it's and... <laughs> like most you know most likely will be like this and yes. it will be weird and bizarre and there is just just banter and you two just sort of get each other but there's true love and you know you are what you need of of each other very interesting film probably the first film i've ever seen like this uh what an awesome privilege it this is, is to it analyze is. this and the fact that people care of what we think this is a brand new world for us in terms of not only music critics but utilizing and acknowledging music to then bring a new perspective into some of the movies it's like exploring art in a different medium correct. and this is actually quite exciting yeah. this is like a movies movie like correct, this is like correct. like a like a cinema fans movie uh -huh. you know this is like really interesting and i'm actually quite surprised that this did so well in the box office it was considered a hit not a super hit but definitely a hit but this that's actually surprising Get about Given 20 million you know when it, and i obviously the budget for this must have been quite low i just think they allocated well most of the money just in the in the in the cast well invested money for sure the budget yeah the budget was five million Oh my God, so cheap. Yeah, because I think most of the money went for the guys. It, right. Mabita Bachan probably got, got a fat check, you know, maybe like half a million. Ethan definitely got a nice check. Yeah, and then, you know, 250 maybe, 350 half a million, something mm -hmm. like that. Obviously, the Pika got a, a fat check because this is... And then you invested some of that into the Shreya music. Shreya yeah. Goshal. But now we know that like they're one-time fees. You know, mm -hmm. the way a lot of this music and the deals work. They pay them It's just like one a one-time fee. Yeah. And then the production, travel, cost... 
they they didn't utilize that many extras. I think they shot live on scene a lot of the they time. They did, yes. Yeah. That, yeah, pretty cheap. And, and then I, they made about 20 mil, so. Nice. Not too bad, not huh? Bad. Not well, bad. Well, let us know what you guys thought about it. Let us know your thoughts and what other movies should we check out next. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. It means the world to us. Thank you to all the Future Friday Movie Club Share members. it with your friends. Let's Absolutely. start more conversations. Tell us your story. We want to learn from you. So we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. We got you. We got you. Yeah. Bye, have a great time.